Okay. Hey. Well, welcome to Restorative Yoga. And I'm so honored you're here with me. It's an honor to guide your practice, whatever the practice is. So we have a lot of props, and I also have an eye pillow too, in addition to the props to lay down. Right, so we're gonna start just centering and take a comfortable seat. You could even, because we have all these blankets and props, take a blanket, you can grab that purple one if you like. And just lay it underneath your feet, and then you might even like, you know, gather it in or crunch it up under your ankle bone, that might feel nice. I might even put some on top of the bottom foot, kind of cushion the knee, just make it super luxurious. I am sitting on a bolster too, both heart and I are sitting up on something, so do that. And then you can also put your shawl on, I have my sweater on already, maybe you'll light your candle and start to enter this transformation zone as we move from our day into this quiet practice. So just start as you are, let your eyes close. Notice how you've rested your hands and don't do anything to change it, just be aware. Now we're gonna take the left hand and you're just gonna turn it up so the palm is facing up. And we'll take the right hand to your heart and just lay the palm over the center, upper center of your chest, spread the fingers, hold on to your heart. And gently allow your chin to drop, your eyes to rest. Take one more full breath as you are, full breath in, full breath out. <clears throat> We're going to just take the right hand from the heart all the way over to hold hands with the left hand. So you go palm over palm, maybe you wrap the fingers around like you're holding hands with yourself. And just feel this charged heart hand offering love, supportive energy to the opposite side of your body. And then use the right hand, my friends, to lift the left hand up, to bring it to your heart. Lay the left palm at your heart and the right hand is just gonna press it in. So you have the back of the left hand and the palm of the right. And then again, bow your chin, drop in, and feel yourself arrived in full. All parts of you welcome, all parts of you present. And at this place of your heart that we hold on here, feel that this is your love center. And the power of forgiveness is the greatest act of love. It comes from the heart. Taking this opportunity it doesn't need to be anything specific. Just, I forgive you. I forgive myself. I forgive us. I love you. I love me. I love us. And smile. Take one more breath in. And as you breathe out, just release the hands slightly, join the palms together at the heart as you join all parts of yourself right here in front of your heart. Inhale, lengthen yourself nice and tall. Exhale your breath. Take a full breath in. Breathe out. One more. Mm. 
and we'll open practice and chant Om together three times. Inhale. chin, release your hands to your thighs, lift your chin and open your eyes. Go ahead and stretch your legs out for a moment, just move your feet around and good. Okay, so we're just gonna oil and massage these feet. I'm just moving off my cushion that I'm sitting on, just more comfortable. And, oh, there it is. Okay, so if you have oil or massage cream, then you can Take it and just put that on one foot. And if you don't have anything, that's totally fine. Just rub your hands together and start to rub that foot. And just massaging, looking at it. And yeah, just working the arch of your foot, the center of your foot. Spreading your toes, giving them some twists, even corkscrewing the whole foot. So I'm just reminding you of places to go, but wherever you're going, feel in and you find a place of discomfort, you might hang out there for a little bit. I'm also just going to work the base of each toe, so right where the two toes connect. I'm just kind of rubbing in there. And so let's just take three more breaths on this foot. Good. And then we can sock that one if you have socks. When I put the socks on too, I'll just also give a little rub on top of the sock. I just think that feels really good. <clears throat> and then as you're ready, we'll before you switch, it's always nice to kind of take a moment and just close your eyes, just feel the two feet. And how like, you know, the change you can make to one foot in under a minute. Good, and then we'll do the second one as you're ready. Okay, so the same thing, just warming your hands and warming your foot. You'll notice the temperature of your foot. I didn't mention that. So. Okay, just moving into maybe three, five more breaths here, feeling wherever you can bring your sacred touch. Okay. Sock of this one. And give that foot a little bit of love over the sock. In. Okay. All right, and then we'll set up for our first pose. Okay, so I'm going to take the bolster 
and I'm gonna lay it, where is it? This would be horizontally on your mat. So it's not the long way, it's the short way. And then take another blanket for your head and that's gonna go, so the bolster goes in the center of your mat and the blanket will go towards the front of your mat. So I do have a little bit of space here between bolster and blanket. Then I'm gonna take um, another blanket. And this one's gonna be for your feet. So I might start off with it like almost mat width and then just roll it and it can be loose. It doesn't need to be like that sausage we sometimes do. And I'll just lay this at the back of the mat and I'm leaving. So the tops of the feet are gonna rest on there and the toes will probably end up on the floor. So if you're against the wall, leave a little bit of space between your mat and that one. Okay, then you might want another blanket for underneath, you know, you, you, you'll see what, I'll show you, I'll show you what the pose is and then you can go, oh, I mean, I think I'm gonna need a blanket, but I'm gonna put the tops of the feet on the blanket here. And as I lie down, the legs are gonna stretch. So I start with like almost the, like the Achilles or the ankle bone is on that blanket. And then you'll lie down so that the tops of your thighs or hip becomes thighs is at the edge of the bolster. And then as you lie down, you're gonna feel your hip bones are on the bolster. And then your belly might come to the floor comfortably or you might wanna throw another blanket pillow there. And then you can rest your head. So you can turn your head to one side. And if that's too much, throw another blanket under your head to make it a little higher. And then your arms can stay underneath your head or you can move them down by your sides with the palms up if you like. And I'm just gonna tell you, as soon as I come into this, I can feel discomfort and tightness in my low back. So if that's your experience, then that's, that's it. Okay, and feel free to almost make your legs longer. So if you want to come up onto your elbows and kind of wiggle yourself forward and extend the legs back, you know, just kind of play a little bit until you find that place where you feel, okay, this is good for me. I'm going to get a nice opening in the low back. You might feel a little discomfort in the belly, but if it's something you can drop into, and be okay with them starting to settle yourself. Add one more thing. As you release, if you would like to, you know, walk your, you know, make the legs wider. So you're just gonna tuck the little toes under and extend through the heels so the legs lift and then just kind of walk your feet out a little bit. So maybe you have, you know, a little bit wider, the feet apart. And if you choose to do that, then you could even draw the toes in and the heels will be facing away from each other. So just play and find that place where you feel this is the best for me. And then we're going to stop talking. You're just going to descend into your breath and into this opening of space.
If your head is turning to one way, then just keep your eyes closed as you turn your head to face the opposite direction now. as you are. Just as we are coming to the end of our time in this pose, I invite you to start to play with your breath. Like a child creating, playing. Just inhale fully and see if you can expand that breath into your back. Or maybe pause as you hold it and open through your muscular effort, and then slowly release the breath. And just do that a few times, just looking to see if you can expand your back, your low back. And then you pause, you hold it, you push out, and then release. And just play with that a few times, and, and then release back to normal breathing when you're ready.
as you move away from that back to normal breath. Just notice if you feel a little bit more heavy or grounded, released. And then feel free to just turn your head back to the first direction. If you haven't turned your head yet, then turn it. And we're just gonna just take a little bit of windshield wiper here. So you just bend your knees and you can separate the knees apart and just gently rock your feet from side to side, just as a way of just releasing or receiving anything that's open in the back. Even, you know, if your knees are okay to turn this into a bit of an egg beater kick, you can do that too. Just being playful, curious, and also feeling the value of this little bit of movement in this shape. And as you feel ready to release the movement, then just keep the legs bent, but bring the feet together. And we'll just pause again just for two, three more breaths. Okay, and we're gonna just come up and back. And so you might just come up to hands and knees and even, let's actually, let's take a little child's pose. So you might keep the bolster exactly where it is and the tops of the feet on the blanket. You can even fold the arms one over the other, drop the head, the forehead to the hands, or or take your bolster forward and rest your head on there. And if your back feels like it needs a little bit, you're not ready to fold down, then put your forearms on the bolster and, and take a couple breaths. So just feel what you need, separate your knees or keep them together. Just drop in. You know, if the blanket under the feet doesn't feel good, just pull it out. And just taking a nice big breath in and let it go. Okay, I'm gonna to come to sit and just stretch the legs out. So you can just bring yourself up and shift your hips over, take your legs. And you can even just take them on top of your bolster if you like for a moment. Move your feet around, feel your breath. You can keep your eyes closed. Okay, I feel a forward fold here. It wasn't really planned, but it just feels really nice. So if this is okay, you can keep your hands, drop your head, find your place. Breathe. Wherever you are, even if it's just the head dropping, then close your eyes and then really drop in. Take one more breath. And slowly come up and again, you might keep your eyes closed. Just oh yeah, that felt good, right? Okay, I feel like maybe let's do that again. So if you were okay with your legs on the bolster, great. And if that didn't feel so good, you could just take the bolster and just hold it, you know, like I'm doing here. So kind of find your place. But if that felt good, then let's do it again. And just lengthen yourself tall and then bring yourself back in. And sometimes, you know, when we come into this a second time, we bring with it knowledge of the past experience. And you might be able to drop in a little more deeply.
So keep your eyes closed. Release yourself wherever you can, jaw, shoulders, heart. And if you feel you need to come up at any point and to come back in and readjust, do that. We're gonna stay here for another 10 breaths. So whatever you need to do to make it, so you can just drop in and do that. <clears throat> slowly bringing yourself back upright and then this time as you come up you can just take your legs in maybe you want to fold them in or adjust however you're sitting and we'll just take a moment of you know just quiet so however you want to have your legs your arms just keeping your eyes closed, bowing your chin. Take one more breath in and out. And then slowly open your eyes. Okay. So next one, bolster can stay where it is, blanket can stay where it is. I'm just gonna come to sit on the bolster and we're just gonna lie down with the bolster underneath the sacrum. So I'll keep this little blanket here for the feet if I want to extend. So you can start by, I say sitting, but I'm actually really perching. So I'm just at the front. So as I lie down, I can get my sacrum onto the bolster and then the chest comes down, the head comes down. And then you can adjust, you, know, you might lift your hips and move your bolster, walk yourself back or front. So this is a little bit of an opposition to the pose we just did for the back. So it's not, you know, on a super high height. So I'm just gonna pause here with the knees bent, just to feel if this is all good, do I need to make any adjustments? Other thing, my friends, is that, you know, we are going to just be here and stretch the legs out. If you'd like to have a blanket, I have a dog now on top of all of my blankets, so I'm just going to leave it. But if you have a blanket and you want to cover yourself or put your eye pillow on while we're here, then go ahead and take a few moments. You know, you can roll to your side, get what you need. <clears throat> Let me take it out. All right, so kind of find your place here. <coughs> okay, now your hands. You're gonna take your hands, and if you are wearing pant, like not a, a jumpsuit, and you can sneak your fingers into the waistband of your pants, so that you know they kind of that, it'll hold them there, and you can just let the arms relax. Then go there if that's you know no good. You know, put your hands anywhere that feels nice. And sometimes it's nice just to feel your, your gentle touch, your loving touch. Okay, so now you're settled and we're just gonna keep the feet on the floor and come to a very gentle windshield wiper. So I'm not even dropping my knees, like they're not, the feet are not coming off the floor. It's just a nice little, gentle side to side action of the knees that might help to just open the low back you might get a few cracks if you're lucky or whatever you're experiencing is is good and then we're going to drop in here and you can keep the knees bent feet on the floor you can bring this the knees to touch if you like and you can also just stretch your legs out if that feels okay. It's a little bit of a back bend. 
<laughs> so once you stretch the legs out, we do change you know, a little bit of where your tush is on the bolster. So if something feels not right, you know, bend your knees, you might bring the bolster up a little bit as you extend the legs, that might feel better. And if it doesn't, then take the bolster down. And just find that place where you can really just rest in. And we're also inviting the thighs to drop, just to open the psoas a little bit, your hip flexor a little bit. Dropping through the back of your heart, your head, your shoulders. If the back is not happy, then just bend your legs. Okay, so I'm just going to have everybody bend their knees feet to the floor and just readjust the bolster so you feel the sacrum hips are on there. And I'm going to bring the knees into the chest. I'm just going to take my blanket off, but you can keep yours on. And as you bring the knees in, you might take your hands to kind of hold the thighs and just, just the back is going to just stretch the low back, the tail might lift. Feel how this is. And we also get a little bit more pressure into dropping the back to the floor. You might retuck your chin and breathe. So I'm just going to change the pressure into the back. So you will stop at any bus stop you need to. The next bus stop is just to lift the feet up so that the ankles are over the knees. And then the, the pressure moves up to about the mid back area. So again, your hands might hold the tops of your thighs here, or you can put your hands to the side if that's okay for you. And we're just here for a few breaths, just allowing the weight of the legs to melt into your back. And keep your breathing relaxed, even if you feel a little bit, a little bit of pressure. If it's too much, just rebend the knees, and take the, the ankles back to the hips. Otherwise, from here now, I'm just going to drop the feet as if they're going to drop over my head. But I'm not lifting my hips up, I'm not making that happen. I'm just stretching, not even stretching, just opening the legs and bringing more weight into the upper back. So everything in its own time. If this isn't possible for you today, then you just go, okay, not today. And you go to that place where you are. Happy. Otherwise, if you're here, allow the heart to melt, the shoulders to melt. And then we'll just slowly go back 
you know, so you can bend the knees, maybe take two breaths. And you drop the heels, two breaths. And then we'll slowly start to just release the feet back to the floor. And once they're there, you know, we might do a little bit of windshield wiper again, just to release with the back a little bit elevated. So take your time, work your way through. Once the feet come down, a little gentle swing. Okay, and then we're gonna just take the bolster out and just lie flat on your back for a moment or two. So you just lift your hips and take that bolster out, just slide it out and away. And then you can be here with your back flat, legs bent. If you want to stretch your legs out or you want to hug your knees in in this transition time whatever you'd like to do and just take this you know next few moments to do whatever you think you you need to do to just be And then from here, we'll just roll to one side and like pause for a breath in the fetal position. And then just bring yourself up and just keep your eyes closed. Sit however feels good. You know, take your time because we're just going to be here and just feel what has been you know, transformed. we enter into this transformative zone this place between two worlds between resting and awake it's right here very present <clears throat> and, okay as you're ready you'll just gently open your eyes so we're going to come into twist i'm going to take that bolster and this time it's going to go lengthwise and um, I'm actually going to take my blanket and put it on top of the bolster so I still have you know let's see the bolster is not quite at the top of the mat but closer it's up a little bit more than it was before okay then you're going to take your two if you have two pillows or two blankets and if you only have one of something then You'll just put it maybe on the, which side is this? I'm gonna start with my right hip against the bolster. So I'll have the blankets just in front of my knees here. Mm -hmm. Now you have all these other things too. You can put them in. If you wanna cover yourself and kind of start here, just as you're lying down, but before you lie down. So you can just take your blanket and you know get it ready. And this one that's in front is going to be just for supporting as we move into twist. So I'm just going to move it out of the way just to show my, my legs are here together. Now you turn and face your bolster. Hands are on either side. I'm lengthen and turn my belly away from my knees. Now at this point, I put the bolster straight, but maybe my body's going to move and I need to move the bolster. So I can lie down and... You can turn your head same as your knees to start. You want to take that blanket underneath your head and fold it, make it higher, give yourself more height. That's, that's great. Okay, then that blanket or pillow, whatever you have in front of you for your legs, you're just going to maybe tuck it between your knees or underneath. Just kind of find a way where you can really be you know, so supported and cover yourself all the way. Yeah, so then you can come back in. So now you, once you're settled, the arms can go, you know, you find, you just kind of play and you find your comfort. So my head is still facing the same way as my knees. Just gonna adjust everything. If I need a little support underneath my hip, if you, if you feel you need that, then put it. And then after, a few breaths here, then the body is okay. Then we want to come back up. You might keep your eyes closed. 
you turn yourself more to the um, so you're turning to the right and your head might turn to the right as well and then again just adjust so now we're here for a little bit so make any adjustments you need with your props under your head or your hands or your hips and then really allow yourself to just drop in deeply You need to make adjustments and give yourself permission to do that. Just turning your head back now to face the same direction as your knees. Keep your eyes closed. Let's take a few more breaths here. Unless you're ready, just press yourself up and keep your eyes closed. Just bring yourself to sitting, which will probably be turning away from the bolster. And just taking a few moments to allow the untwisting, the unwinding, the rewinding. Just feel into the two sides of your body right now. And then you can keep your eyes closed or just open them a little bit. Move whatever you need to the opposite side. And then we'll put the left hip. We'll just kind of set up as you need to. The blanket between the knees underneath. <clears throat> And then hands on either side of the bolster. You lengthen, turn, adjust where your bolster is as you need to. Adjust your head pillow and come down. 
And once you're in it, just start with the head the same direction as the knees, even if you know it's easy for you to turn it. Just be here. A few breaths, just let the body settle into this opposite twist now. And so after you have spent maybe three, five breaths in this shape on the side, then you'll come up, readjust whatever you need, re-lengthen and turn your chest more away from, or more to the left. And then you can turn your head to the left if that works, adjust your arms and enjoy. Just turning your head back now to face the same direction as your knees. Staying a few more breaths if you like, and if you're ready to come out from here, just pressing yourself up. Again, just coming to sit for a few moments, quiet and in your stillness. And just feel. Okay. Just join your palms together at your heart, bow your chin, just acknowledging this work you've done. And then lifting your chin and releasing your hands. Open your eyes. So from here, my friends, we move into Shavasana. And I'm going to do Shavasana 2. And that's where we lie just back over the bolster. And so you're welcome to take your block if you like and just put a little support for your head. 
but you might not even need that. So I'm going to keep this blanket here um, as a little pillow for the head. And then that foot blanket that we had folded, if you still have it folded, you can use that to rest the Achilles on it, just recreating it really quick. Yeah. It needs to be fancy, but just enough to rest just the Achilles on there. So the feet are kind of hanging. And then you can cover yourself and use your eye pillow if you have. You need those ones. Okay, and then you just keep your tush on the floor. You lie back over that bolster. Oh, everything's hitting perfect for me right now. So hopefully you're having a good experience. But if it feels too much for your back, just wiggle yourself forward. And no, you can also just not be on your bolster right now. It's better. But this feels pretty delicious. So make it comfortable. Make yourself warm. You can bring your fingers back into your waistband if you like, or just take them out to the sides. And snuggle into your props, into the floor. And wiggle your feet, point and flex a little bit, just to just get that energy down the legs, out through the feet. taking your sacred rest you take the time to make it very comfortable supportive and then you take the time to release into that comfort and into that support and soften your chin down towards your heart drop your inner gaze into your body your heart space, your belly, the back of your heart.
Just dropping more deeply into your rest. Releasing yourself through your breath. Staying in your stillness for longer or beginning to just roll your ankles, wiggle your fingers, roll your wrists. And slowly waken your body in whatever direction it wants to go in, whatever feels good. As you're ready, just remembering you know, if you put a block under your bolster, you're on a height, you roll off. And into the fetal position. <clears throat> Taking your way to seated as you feel ready. Take your time. You're just going to sit quietly for a few moments. To savor everything that's come before. Just meeting me here whenever you're ready or just staying in your Shavasana for as long as you like. This great gift of time. And once you're here and you're sitting comfortably, you just lay the right palm on the right thigh facing up and take the left hand to your heart. Just open your hand, hold your heart, and drop into that great loving support. And just feeling the heat into your left palm, and your loving gratitude, your loving kindness, your loving forgiveness your sense of creative play and of presence. You now taking that left hand all the way across your body to hold on to the right hand. Just feel the palms connecting. You can put your you know, third eye superpower there. It's like mother and child. And then guiding that right hand up to your heart. You can bring the palms together or cross them over your heart space if you wish. <clears throat> Whatever you choose to do is, is lovely. And as you inhale, lengthen yourself, lift your chin. And as you exhale, stay as you are. And we'll see all this restorative practice with our may we be blessed mantra and one very quiet oh. inhale. May, may we, we be blessed, blessed with loving kindness. kindness. May, may we be well. May, may we, we be peaceful, peaceful and at ease. ease. May, may we, we be healthy and may we be well. May, may we be happy. And may, may we be happy. Inhale. May we be blessed with loving kindness. Bow your chin, take a nice big breath, breathe into your hands, catch your breath, lift your chin, open your eyes. Namaste, my friends. Namaste. Namaste, buddy. Namaste. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Namaste. May you sleep well. Have a beautiful night. Thank you.